Hello guys, welcome back. This is the second part of the Langflow UI video. Many of you asked in this particular video how we can use the flow with Python. So in this video, I will explain you three different things. One is how you can actually use this particular flow with Python. So we will be going through this part. And the next one is the API uses of Langflow. And at the end, I will show you how you can deploy the Langflow on Xena AI Cloud. Let's get started. As I said before, this is the continuation video. And in the earlier video, I have shown you a simple chat example where we have chat open AI and the conversation chain, right? So the first thing that I will be showing you is how we can load the flow from JSON, right? So from here, you can go to this code part. But before that, we need to export this, right? So you can click this export icon here and there is the name of the flow and you can give some description. First, let's go through this Python code part, right? So what we need to do in order to achieve this, you need to first export this particular flow, right? I have already exported this and I have placed in the folder here. As you can see here, this is the basic chat underscore flow dot JSON, right? And then if you go again here, what you can do is go to this code part and copy this Python code, copy this part. I have already copied in my VS code, as you can see here in this test.py. So this is the thing that I have copied, right? So when I run this particular thing, it is same as running on the UI, right? So first let me import the necessary things. So it is going to open an interactive Jupyter environment here. And okay, when this is done, it will show the green tick here. Let's wait for that and then we can create a flow. We can load flow from JSON and we can run this particular thing when we have this load flow from JSON being imported, right? So it is still running here. Now let's wait when this is done. And okay, it's still running. And after we import this, after we create this particular flow, okay, it's running there now we have this flow right now we can ask the question here hey what is twitter you can ask as many questions or whatever question you want if i run this it is going to say hey what is twitter right and then it is going to provide the answer for me that okay twitter is a social media platform that allows users to express themselves in short messages and so on right so yeah that is how you can accomplish this particular task so what we did just now is this part here now what we do next is about the api uses right so how we can achieve this is as the example is also being shown here let's go to our code here not this one but here right so we are going to do this python api part now just copy this part and you need to go to your vs code I have already copied this and in the python api.py i can just do control a control v right so now let me make this bigger here i have imported all the necessary things and this is running locally so what we can do now is we can just go here and import this particular thing so it says that okay do you want to open a new interactive windows yes i want to open new one so it is going to open the new one for me and then what you can do is just pass this API URL. This is done. And now you can create this particular function. You can run this shell. And now you can ask whatever question you want. Let me ask the same question. What is Twitter, right? So if I ask this particular question, it is going to run the particular question, as you can see here, and provide the answer for us. Okay, Twitter is a social media platform that allows users to share short messages. So yeah, many of you ask the question how we can utilize this particular UI with the Python code and with the Python API. So that is what we just performed here. In one of the file, we use the Python code in this test.py, right? In this file. And in this one, we just use the API. So what next? As you can see here now, we will go and deploy this particular thing. Why we need to deploy is because as you noticed here, we are running this on the local host and we, we need to always run this in order to have the interaction, right? Just to show you what I just meant, what I can do here is this is where I'm running. I can cancel this, control C. So now this is canceled right so when this is cancelled now if i go to my 
Google Chrome or whatever browser you are using. Now, if I try to refresh this, it is not going to work because we just cancel that particular script that is running in our terminal. For that reason, we need to actually deploy this particular thing. And what we are going to use is we are going to deploy the Langflow on Xena AI cloud in order to deploy it in the Xena AI cloud first you need to create the account in the Xena AI cloud and you need to install this Langchain Sorb so if I click this particular link it will take me to another github repo which says Langchain Sorb right and then there is the link of cloud Xena AI so how this is going to work is Langchain apps on production with the Xena and fast API you don't need to go through this repository but just be sure that we are using Xena and fast API with this Langchain Sorb in order to Sorb our Langflow in the Xena AI cloud right so you need to create an account first you need to click this link and let us go to the Xena AI cloud. So now you need to go here and create the account for you. If you click this login icon, it will take you to the login page. If you don't have the account, you need to go to the sign up and it will ask you some questions and it will ask you to personalize your account. Once you are done with that, let's get started after that. Okay, I went through the process and I logged in through GitHub. So I hope you also did the login part, right? Now what we need to do is go back to the GitHub repo of Langflow and we need to install the Langchain Sorb. You need to copy this and just do Control V. Let me clear the screen first. Control V. So that is going to install the Langchain Sorb for us. And by the way, we can, we don't even need to open this right now. So we can just close this. Okay. Save. And the next file also, I can just close this. And we don't need to open this, all the different things now. Right. So we just need to go through the terminal now. So I don't need anything here. So yeah, now this is installed, right? So I can again clear the screen for you. So what is the next step that we need to do? So here it says Langflow just as jcloud. Let's copy this. It is not going to work, but just to show you how, what is the error that you will get because we need to authorize our Langflow with that particular Xena cloud, right? But this one does not show any authorization part. So first, as you can see here, it says first we need to log in, right? So we need to pass this jcloud login. So copy this part, go again here clear the screen and then control V. I'm showing you all the steps for you because it is confusing in the beginning. Okay, why it is showing the error, but the error message is quite clear actually. And now it says, okay, I can open this. It is asking me again to authorize this, right? So you can continue whichever you want. I'm going to continue with GitHub. Now it says login successful and it is going to the main page okay this is how it shows right so if we now go back to our terminal it says login is successful right now we can run this particular command that langflow is suggesting us to do langflow dash dash jcloud it is going to take some time for this to set up i will come back when this is done Okay, so it took around one minute for me to deploy this particular Langflow server. So it says here deploying Langflow server on the Xena AI cloud, right? And it shows your app ID and phase, endpoint and all the different things. And it says here that click on the link to open the server. Please allow one to two minutes for the server to start up. So we need to wait around one to two minutes. If we just go here and click now, it is not going to work because it takes some time to load this so let's wait one to two minutes when this is loading let's go back to the github page so as you can see here it says okay when we run this g langflow dash dash j cloud this is what it is going to show us that is what we also get it right and the complete example output is similar to this so this is what we also saw in this particular terminal right so if you can see here this is what we just so and this is what it is also mentioned in the github repo there are many steps but it is not that hard actually if you follow step by step i highly recommend you to pause the video go back again and see if you find any mistakes and ask the questions in the comment section or also you can go to the github repo in the issues part here on the top 
there are 91 issues meaning that someone else also have some issue here right you can go to the issues part and ask some questions now let's go to the terminal if it is now done let's click this link open so yeah it is loading meaning that it is going to work now so let's wait when this is loading and you can see now it shows here lang flow and some number wolf.zina.ai so yeah here is the Langflow UI which is now deployed on the Jina AI cloud meaning that we can pass this particular API to anyone and it is going to work because before we deployed this locally so when we close this it is not going to work right what we can do now is let's say that we can import the flow that we just created from local file we can just import the basic chart flow so yeah that is the same flow here we can make the dark screen all the things are here and you can ask or start the conversation here so you can just say hi it will reply us hello how can i assist you and you can ask as many questions as you want and now the main part let's say that you want to use this as a python code it's the same thing that we did before there is nothing changed and now if you want to use the api part the only thing that is changed is the API URL. So now it is not running locally. It is now being deployed in the Jina AI cloud, right? So what is the change that you need to do now? You can just copy this API URL and now you can go to your VS Code or any editor you are using. Go back to the same file Python API. Let me make this smaller. What I can do now is just replace this line with the api and with a different one right so by the way just to show you how it shows i can just paste it down here and then just on comment this part just to show you that okay before we use the local host and now we are using the api url in the Jina ai cloud what i can do now is just run this now so i can just draw on shift enter it is going to start a new uh, interactive environment here let me close this and now I can create the function again. So this is the same function. It is going to work and I can ask the same question here. What is Twitter? And it is going to provide me the answer. So yeah, you can see the answer here. You can integrate this in your application and it works. And now you there is nothing that you can sort down because it is running on the cloud and it is deployed, right? So let's go and see in the Jina AI cloud what it is showing now when we are running it as you can see here this is what it shows in the beginning let's refresh the page okay now it is showing here zero use still and free plan storage and all the different things one is solving here and that is the lang flow right if you go to the flows you can see that there is one lang flow and 7 d a f c right if you go to the lang flow part this is 7 d a f c now let's say that you don't want this app be running what you can do is just go to the Jina ai cloud and just click this and delete so it is going to delete meaning that once this is deleted now if you refresh this page it is not going to work because that is being deleted so yeah that's all for this video we went through different things that what you have asked in my previous a video we went first through this load flow from json and then we use the api uses and then we deploy the lang flow on Jina ai cloud let me know in the comment section if you tried this or were you successful to run this or not or i would recommend as i said before also you can go to this issues tab and ask the question also directly there thank you for watching and see you in the next video